Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to take a look at this fellow right here. This is Ephes Pilsner. Uh, this is 11.2 fluid ounce bottle or 330 millimeters if you prefer the metric system. 5.0% alcohol by volume. And this beer is from Turkey. And it's imported by Total uh, Beverage Solution, Mount Pleasant, uh, South Carolina. Interesting. So, this brewery, I believe this brewery was founded in 1966. And I believe commenced brewing in 1969, at least on a full level scale from um, the accounts that I've read online. So, let's give her a try. Definitely has that Mediterranean beer taste to it. I mean, as it says on the top of the bottle, Mediterranean slow brew. And I saw that and I thought, well, I've got to try this one because I've actually never had this before until now, but kind of has that sweet kind of nutty taste like, um, like Almaza has. And um, probably my favorite beer of all time, Keo from Cyprus has. Mm. Yeah, that has a very pleasant taste. It's crisp. It's kind of, it's crisp and it has a sweet and nutty taste to it. So this, wow, this is not disappointing at all. Very nice flavor to it. Um... I've seen this beer before here and there, but for some reason, I just never got it. But um, I should have gotten this earlier because I was really missing out. Turkey's kind of a unique country uh, in that region of the world. Uh, it was one of the first ones uh, in the Arab world really to become westernized. Um, and that was in the 1920s mainly. Um, they dumped the Cyrillic alphabet and adopted the uh, Latin alphabet. Um, you know, women went to school and went to college. Um, the names um, mandated by the government became more sort of structured like Western names, meaning like in a lot of um, Arab countries, it wasn't a lot of like names that repeated each other. It wasn't like Abdul, Abdullah, El Said or something like that. It was more like a first name and then a last name like many Western countries do. And um, so that's kind of an interesting bit of history. But yeah, yeah, if you get a chance, you, you got to try this stuff. This is an exceptionally good beer, and I think this is a new favorite of mine. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me. I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And as always, have a great rest of your day.